Sutra, what is meant by false views based on individual karma? Ananda, it is like a person in the world who has a red cataract on his eyes, so that at night he alone sees around the lamp a circular reflection composed of layers of five colors. Commentary, above I gave a very general explanation of the false views of individual karma and of the collective share. Now, the Buddha is going to give a detailed explanation of the false views of individual karma. What is meant by false views based on individual karma? Ananda, it is like a person in the world, like any person in the world who has red cataracts on his eyes. A red film has grown over his eyes and covers them, so that at night he alone sees around the lamp. A circular reflection composed of layers of five colors. Individual karma is special and makes people different from other, other people. Because the person in the Buddha's example wanted to display his differences and exhibit his peculiarities, he has obtained a karmic retribution which is not the same as others. There is a saying, all you do is bend your strength at the threshold of a reflection of light. This person's eyes are diseased. And so when he looks at the lamp, it changes. It produces a circular reflection. Around the lamp is a circle of iridescent light, yellow, red, white, black. It is complete with every color. Layers means there were not just five colors. There were 10,000 purples and a thousand reds. Every color there is, every ones you have never seen before. Would you say these colors and the circular reflection are true or false? For instance, there basically isn't any problem with people's eyes, and people proceed to create a problem. What problem? They don't see things clearly. They give rise to an illusory seeing. They look at the world, and it transforms into colors. The five hues and the six colors. Opal listened. How do I know this? I met a man once who may have been taking LSD or some other hallucinogen. I don't know, but there he was looking at a wall and laughing. Ha ha ha, a big golf, golf ball uh, that didn't stop. Why are you laughing like that? I asked him. Look, he said, different colors, all oh, different colors. Now, wouldn't you say he was like the man with the red cataracts? Basically, there was nothing wrong with his eyes, so he took some drug or other or turned himself upside down so that when he looked at the wall, it wreathed with color. Basically, it was just a wall, but he saw different colors. Would you say that was true or false? He thought it was true. Anyone who hadn't taken such a drug would think he was dreaming and talking in his sleep. There was nothing wrong with his eyes, and he created this problem. Now the Buddha explains this question in further detail. Sutra, what do you think? In the circle of light that happens around the lamp at night, the lamp's colors, or is it the same colors? Commentary, what do you think? What is your opinion about this, Ananda? Is a circle of light that appears around the lamp at night the lamp's colors, or is it the sink's colors? What about the appearance of that light in layers of five colors? Are the colors emitted from the lamp, or do they come forth from the sink? Speak up, Ananda. Sutra. Ananda, if it is the lamp's colors, why is it that someone without the disease does not see the same thing, and only the one who is diseased sees the circular reflection? If it is the scene's colors, then the scene has already become colored. What then is a circular reflection the deceased person sees to be called? Commentary here, the world honored one asks Ananda another question. Ananda, if it is the lamp's colors, if you say that the circular reflection which displays layers of the five colors is emitted by the lamp, why is it that someone without the disease does not see the same thing? 
Someone without the disease refers to the Buddha and all the great Bodhisattvas. Those who are deceased are living beings. The lamp represents true principle. When the Buddha and Bodhisattvas look, they see true principle. When living beings look, they see a circular reflection. They can see the lamp, but around it there is still a circular reflection composed of multiple layers of the five colors. This is what ordinary people and all living beings see. The five colors represent the five skandhas, form, feeling, thought, activity, and consciousness. Sutra. Moreover, Ananda, if the circular reflection is itself a thing apart from the lamp, then it would be seen around the folding screen, the curtain, the table, and the mats. If it has nothing to do with the seeing, it should not be seen by the eyes. Why is it that the person with cataracts sees the circular reflections with his eyes? Commentary. Moreover, Ananda, if the circular reflection is itself a thing apart from the lamp, if the circular reflection of five colors is an entity separate from the lamp, then when the man glances around at other things in the room like the folding screen, the curtain, the table, and the mats, then the reflection would be seen around them, but in fact, he doesn't see anything around them. So is the reflection really separate from the lamp? If it has nothing to do with the seeing, it should not be seen by the eyes. If you want to force the issue and say it is definitely a separate entity, it shouldn't have any connection with the eyes. Why is it that the man with cataracts sees the circular reflections with his eyes? His eyes, even though faulty and diseased, are the vehicle for his seeing the circular reflection, since it is his diseased eyes which see it. How can you say the circular reflection is separate from seeing? Sutra, therefore you should know that in fact the colors come from the lamp and the diseased seeing brings about the reflection. Both the circular reflection and the faulty seeing are the result of the cataract, but that which sees the diseased film is not sick. Thus you should not say that it is a lamp or the seeing or that it is neither the lamp nor the seeing. Commentary. Therefore you should know, Ananda, you should look into this. In fact, the colors come from the lamp. When a person with pure eyes looks at the lamp, he sees only the lamp light, he doesn't see the reflection. The diseased seeing brings about the reflection, so the reflection is, a, is because of the cataract on the man's eyes. The man's seeing is faulty and so it creates a false reflection around the lamp when he looks at it. Since the colors come from the lamp, you can't say that the reflection is separate from the lamp or that it is merely from the eye. Since the diseased seeing brings about the reflection, you can't say that the reflection is separate from the seeing or that it is merely from the lamp. Both the circular reflection and the faulty seeing are the result of the cataract. The seeing referred to here is the faulty seeing. The lamp's reflection and the faulty seeing are both due to the diseased eye, the red cataract. But that which sees the diseased film is not sick. That which sees in this case refers to the pure seeing, the true sight, not the false, faulty seeing. This pure seeing which can see the cataract is like the Buddhas and Bodhisattvas who can see living beings. Thus you should not say that it is the lamp or the seeing or that it is neither the lamp nor the seeing. You should not become attached here and try to fix things by insisting that it is a lamp or it is the seeing. Since the colors come from the lamp and the diseased eye creates the reflection, you can't pinpoint one or the other of the, these as a sole cause. Once again, the colors come from the lamp, so it is not that the lamp is not the cause. The reflection comes from the cataract on the seeing eye, so it can't be that the seeing is not involved. The Buddha continues to be quite 
explicit in his compassionate explanation for Ananda. Sutra It is like a second moon often seen when one presses on one's eye while looking up into the sky. It is neither substantial nor a reflection because it is an illusory vision caused by the pressure exerted on one's eye. Hence, a wise person should not say that the second moon is a form or not a form, nor is it correct to say that the illusory second moon is a part from the seeing or not a part from the seeing. Commentary, it is like a second moon often seen one presses on one's eye while looking up into the sky. It is neither substantial nor a reflection because it is an illusory vision caused by the pressure exerted on one's eye. The second moon is analogous to the circular reflection seen by the person with cataracts. The second moon is not substantial in the same way that the circular reflection is not created from the seeing alone nor is the second moon a reflection in the same way that the circular reflection is not just based on the lamp's colors. Pressure exerted on one's eye is analogous to the cataract on the person's eye. You can try this out yourself if you are not clear about what the analogy means. Take your finger and press it in the corner of your eyes. The pressure will give you double vision and so you will see a second moon. Hence, a wise person. If you use your wisdom to regard this, you should not say that the second moon is a form or not a form, nor is it correct to say that the illusory second moon is apart from the seeing or not apart from the seeing. Basically, what results from the pressure against the eye is false to begin with. To use it as a basis for arguing further, about what it is and what it is not is just adding falseness to falseness. Would a wise person do that? Sutra. It is the same with the illusory created by the diseased eyes. You cannot say it is from the lamp or from the seeing. Even less can it be said not to be from the lamp or the seeing. Commentary. It is the same with the illusion created by the diseased eyes. The second moon is not real. It only exists because of the pressure on the eye. The circular reflection is not real. It only exists because of the cataract. They are both empty and false. You cannot say this from the lamp or from the seeing. Even less can it be said not to be from the lamp or the seeing. It originated from the cataract on the man's eye. So you can't say it comes from the lamp or from the scene. But the circular, circular reflection only appears around the lamp and is only seen when the man uses his eyes to look at it. And so you can't say it is not from the lamp and not from the scene. The circular reflection is totally illusory to begin with. Why squabble about what it is and is not? Sutra, what is meant by the false view of the collective share? Ananda, in Jambuvipa, besides the waters of the great seas, there is level land that forms some 3,000 continents, east and west, throughout the entire expanse of the great continent. There are 2,300 large countries. In the other, smaller continents, in the seas, there are maybe two or three hundred countries, or perhaps one or two, or perhaps thirty, forty, or fifty. Commentary This section of text talks about the false view of the collective share. The false view of the individual share causes each person to see differently. The false view of the collective share is that everyone has the illusion of seeing the same thing at almost the same time. So a country is used by way of analogy. What is meant by the false view of the collective share? What is said to make up the false view of the collective share? Ananda, listen carefully, I will tell you. In Jambuvipa, in the southern continent, besides the waters of the Great Seas, there is level land that forms some 3,000 continents. 
Outside the seas is the level land, which is divided into 3,000 continents. East and west, throughout the entire spans of the great continent. In the middle of these 3,000 continents, there is a great continent, and north, south, east, and west. To count them all up, there are 2,300 large countries. In the other, smaller continents in the seas, in the small in islands, and small continents, there may be two or three hundred con countries, or perhaps one or two, or perhaps thirty, forty, or fifty. It is not fixed how many there are. Sutra Ananda supposes that among them there is one small continent where there are only two countries. The people of just one of the countries together experience equal conditions. On that small continent, all the people of that country see all kinds of inauspicious things. Perhaps they see two suns, perhaps they see two moons with circles, or dark haze, or gold ornaments around them, or comets, shooting stars, years on the sun or moon, rainbows, secondary rainbows, and various other evil sides. Commentary The Buddha called to Ananda again. Ananda supposed that among them there is one small continent where there are only two countries. Suppose in Jambuvipa there is an island, a small continent, with only two countries on it. Now also these two countries are on the same island, there is a boundary between them, and the karmic retribution, the inhabitants experience is not the same. The people of just one of the countries together experience evil conditions. The people of one of the countries undergo a certain retribution altogether, and they experience evil conditions. Evil conditions refers to inauspicious circumstances and many kinds of disasters and difficulties. Great winds, for example, or heavy rains. Recently, in America, there were tornadoes that blew people off into space, killing several hundred in all. That is an example of an inauspicious circumstance. That's what is meant by an evil condition. You see, on that one continent, some people underwent the evil retribution, and some people did not. In the same way, people in San Francisco did not undergo the evil condition of the tornado. They did not experience that suffering, but in the Midwest, houses were blown into empty space. Trees were unrooted and blown completely away, and there was a flooding and fire. Such disasters are far too prevalent. On that small continent, all the people of that country see all kinds of inauspicious things. What do they see? Sometimes it's the trees will talk, they hear someone speaking, and it turns out to be a tree. There isn't a person inside. That's an inauspicious event. Among supernatural events, there are some very inauspicious things. Perhaps they see two suns. Perhaps the people in the one country see two suns, which is an indication of a great change within the country, something inauspicious. Perhaps the leader of the country will die or will be assassinated by someone who wants to usurp the power. This is because the skies can't have two sons, the people can't have two kings. There can't be two sons in the sky. If you see two sons, that is inauspicious. inauspicious. Or perhaps this president that killed that president. Perhaps they see two moons. No matter what country it is, there will be only one sun and one moon. But the people of this country see two moons appear. This also indicates that something in Nostrilus is in store for the country. With circles or dark haze or girdle ornaments around them. Circles around the moon indicates wind. Dampness in the foundations indicates rain. When the moon looks like it has water around it, as if it were soaking in water, there will be a windstorm. And when the foundations of the house are damped, it will rain. Circles indicate the presence of an evil energy surrounding the moon. Just looking at it makes one uncomfortable. It is very unusual. A dark haze refers to a black, very murky energy which covers the moon. 
The moonlight doesn't shine through it, and yet it is not a cloud. Gold ornaments refer to a formation around the side of the sun or moon, which looks like the ornaments worn by women around their waist. In general, the sun and moon can be surrounded by anything. If there is something there, it is not a good sign. A comet shooting stars. The light of a comet extends over a great distance. During the reign of the first emperor of the Qin Dynasty in China, 255-206 BC, comets appeared quite often, and as a result, the people experienced extreme distress and suffering during that period. Shooting stars or meteors also emit a long trail of light, though not as long as a comet's. But their appearance is brief. They are just like flickering flames. One is gone, and then another appears. Then that one disappears, and yet another appears. The shooting stars dart through space, and sometimes they fall in showers. And celestial drops fall out of the sky, just like rain pouring down. Years on the sun or moon. This refers to a time when it appears that. The sun or moon has grown years. Rainbows, secondary rainbows. Some say that in the morning they are called rainbows, and in the evening they are called secondary rainbows. In general, they are yin and yang, and they indicate that heaven and earth are out of balance. Nevertheless, if you can change, if the people of that country can change their minds, everything will be all right. And various evil. Other evil signs means that not just the few mentioned here, but many others appeared as well, large ones and small ones. If the country is flourishing, then every single thing is auspicious. If the country is on the decline, then every single thing is inauspicious. If one person has the reward of blessings, the rest of the person can follow along and borrow this light. If the people follow someone who likes blessings, he they will undergo suffering. Take a look at the country's leader, the country's president. If he has blessings, the people will follow him and have blessings as well. If he hasn't any blessings, the people will follow him and endure suffering. It can be said that the head of a country is responsible for every circumstance. Sutra. Only the people in that country see them. The living beings in other country from the first do not see or hear anything unusual. Commentary. These two countries on the same small continent should have the same karmic retribution, but in one of them, inauspicious signs indicating disaster and difficulty appear, and everyone in the entire country sees them. Only the people in that country see them. The living beings in the other country from the first do not see or hear anything unusual, but in the other country on the small continent, all the people, all the beings there do not see these things or hear these sounds. This is called the false view of the collective share. The power of the karma of the beings in the one country is similar, and so they have this false seeing. Those in the other country do not have the same karma, and so they don't have that false seeing.